Hey there guys, it's me, CoolSize77. Let's talk about video games! The Nintendo 64. It pretty much revolutionized gaming. What with the 64 bits, the 3D environments, the games themselves, it was just... I'll save that for another video. Today we're going to talk about a not so good game for the N64. Want to guess what that is? Well, it's in the title. If you're dumb, are you dumb? D do you not see the... Clover! A game where you play as the most heroic, most epic video game character to ever exist, a glove. That's right, you play as a glove. And what's the point of this game? I really don't know. I guess it's to collect the seven gems that fell off the top of this castle that seems to be in the middle of nowhere wherever this is. And you have to save the wizard because without you, he doesn't have any hands. And he's also a statue now. The game is simple, find a ball, roll the ball. Use the ball to do things, it's all about the ball. When the ball dies, you die. Don't like the bouncy ball? Try a bowling ball. A jewel. This thing. You can bounce. You can throw. You can crush enemies beneath the massive weight of your mighty fist. Beware, enemies of Glover. There will be no mercy. The controls in Glover are... Eh. I'm not quite sure how to explain it. They just feel off. Press A and Glover slaps the ball wherever you're aiming. B makes Glover bounce on the ball, and if you aim a certain direction, Glover will throw the ball. Z does several things, but the most important to note is probably the fist pound that I mentioned earlier. You can also stand in the ball to roll it around, which is probably the most annoying part of the game because the controls become inverted. The camera angles on the ball segments are way too zoomed in, and it almost makes me feel like the main puzzle of the game is actually figuring out how to play the game. But Garab's in order to... Well, game, I think, um, I don't know, maybe you should uh, explain what a Garab is first. Actually, quick note, collecting Garabs is optional. They do help open the bonus levels at the end of the game, but aside from that, they just give you an extra heart after collecting 10, and then they're just kinda there. Like I mentioned before, the castle seems to be in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by levels that, well, don't seem to make any sense whatsoever. You could go to a circus, a planet, this place, and the bosses make even less sense. A totem pole thing? Uh, uh, Frankenstein? Uh, monkeys? Nope, oh, that one's good. Go into a stump, fight the dinosaur. Why is there a dinosaur? I don't know. Why is he wearing sunglasses? Because he's cool. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Yeah, me neither. This is probably my favorite thing to do in the game. I am Big Glover. Fear my mighty wrath, mortals. And you can do this. Whoa. Wait, wait, Glover. What? what? Glover, Glover what, what are you doing? Gl Glover! As I mentioned before, the bosses don't seem to make any sense. But that's not all, the boss fights themselves just aren't that good. All you literally have to do in this one is dodge this clown who apparently can't throw to begin with, and then you hit this button and hilarious things happen. Did you guys, did you guys see that? Oh, oh my gosh, is he okay? You think he's okay? That was, that was violent. <laughs> Pianos, man. Jeez. I guess the main problem with Glover is the level design. In other platformers at the time, like Mario 64 or Banjo-Kazooie, you felt inclined to explore the environment, simply because of all the wonderful secrets in the game. Even the game's overworlds felt special, but in Glover, the game just lacks any incentive whatsoever. The game does have secrets, but none are really notable, and are mainly just extra lives and a few garabs that you may have missed. And even completing a level in Glover doesn't necessarily feel satisfying. There's not really anything special about it. The one thing that does save Glover are the ball segments that are very original and challenging, sometimes. But then again, without the ball, Glover is just a generic platform game, and honestly, there were much better out there at the time. And here it is, the most epic, climactic, most exciting cinematic ending to any video game ever. That's really how the game ends. He puts 
his gloves on. Beautiful. Love it. Good work, guys. He did good here. And that's Glover. Well, I can say one thing. I liked it more than Echo. All in all, the most fun thing about Glover to me is just how ridiculous the game is. I by no means really like this game that much, but there is a certain charm to it. The controls may be confusing, the camera angles may be disorienting, and the game itself might even not be that good, but if there is one thing that this game has going for it, it is pretty memorable. Hey everybody, it was fun, right? If you want to subscribe and see more cool site content, then you can go ahead and do that. I won't stop you. If you want to know what I'm working on, and maybe a specific release date for the video even, then go follow me on Twitter at CoolSize77. Let's just go ahead and say that my next project is a big one, and I won't say anything else about it until the recording is done. On that note, thanks for watching everybody. Peace out. Everybody do Mother Shuffle.